So I had someone ask if I would uh, take a like a time lapse of me drawing. So I decided to do that with a piece I'm putting together for like a backyard barbecue kit. So it's that's the final product with some fake flames. But uh, let's jump in. The first step to all of this is to make like a Pinterest mood board, which is where I got that picture up there. Then I make a layer and I take like usually purple is what I choose, and I use the technical pen. The technical pen is just the brush I use and then I kind of try to sketch it out. You'll see that I like erase and move stuff around willy nilly and I don't really like make the cleanest of lines because this is kind of like a base layer to all of this. Um, and I'm definitely going to put something on top of it. So I started making some bricks there and I really just wasn't feeling it so you'll see that I actually end up erasing a lot of it. I was never taught how to draw. I learned from like videos and just doing it myself so a lot of times I like have a vision in my head and try different things to get there and it just doesn't work. So there's a lot of erasing and just trying things. I kind of found like a, a way to make the breaks that I liked where I would just make like a, a straight line and then near the top and the bottom I would make little curves going out that kind of made it feel like it had a brick feel to it and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So next what I do is I create another layer on top of it and I take the uh, calligraphy, like I think it's a monoline calligraphy pen brush, I can't remember, and I take black and I try to make like a much cleaner outline. You'll see with this that I really struggled with that like circular top to this and I erased and redrew and tried over and over again. I still am not 100% happy with how it turned out. I really struggled with it. I couldn't find like a curvature that felt both natural and also real. And then I uh, keep in mind that when I'm doing this, I'm pretty like zoomed in. Um, so what I do sometimes is turn off like the background layer to try to like eyeball it because sometimes I follow the lines too closely. So what I did here was like I made the lines and um, like really straight and then I tried to curve the edges and I went back to that circular top there for a moment because I was still not happy with how it turned out. Now I started drawing the lines on the bricks and trying to get it to feel like they were real bricks and had dimension. It took me a second and I was really grateful for the reference pick when I made this. And then it was time to jump into the base layer. I started with the top layer and couldn't really figure out how to make it exactly work with um, the, the type of brush I was using and what you'll see is that I'm like going to each one of those um, little lines and I'm like individually erasing things to make it look perfect. Um, you can't really see too much of a change because of that but you can kind of see it here where I'm like going one by one and I'm like trimming them down from right to left. Uh, that was probably a bad call. I probably should have just used like a much thinner um, like brush and I ended up using that for the the rest of them but when I started off that part alone took me at least an hour See, even with this, you can't really see too much of a change because I'm so zoomed in when I'm drawing this and I'm doing really minuscule changes that when I look at it now, I realize they're probably not necessary because you can't even tell. So at this point, I'd finished those and I zoomed out and I realized that I didn't like the top because it was too small, so I like grabbed it and like zoomed it out or like made it bigger which basically ruined all those lines I had just spent like an hour working on. I did take a break after this because it was frustrating, but I cleaned it up and it ended up looking exactly what I was en envisioning. Um, and it turned out that what was really the issue was just like the proportionality. So I brought back uh, the, the background lines just so that I could um, place the vertical lines for the rest of the bricks exactly where I wanted them. At this point, I moved back to the technical pen to get a thinner line so I wouldn't have to do all that erasing and uh, I jumped in to make those lines. It 
it's hard to tell because it's zoomed out but I'm just darkening each of those lines and again it's a straight line and then at the top and the bottom are just kind of like a, a, a triangle at the top it's an upside down triangle and at the bottom it's right side up which kind of gives it that brick illusion So once I was happy, I started coloring it in. I grabbed the colors from a different piece I had made earlier um, for the same kit design, and I started with the gray. Then I took one of the darker browns, and I made an outline on each brick. I know it looks like this is even sped up I, I just take a really long time when drawing and coloring because I'm just very slow at this in case you're wondering why it takes me so long to put out new kits and to finish art because it takes forever so once I finished the base I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do the top um, so I started out with doing the exact same color just outlined um, across the entire top because I thought I really did want it to match Afterwards, I grabbed a slightly darker color of brown. I went and I grabbed that from that uh, original design I had made earlier, and I was trying to find a place for it. I tried all kinds of places, and in the end, I decided to make it kind of like a bottom line. And then I took an airbrush, and I took just like a really light gray, just so when I used one of the blur, blur tools that comes with Procreate, which is the app, it kind of like gave a little bit of a gradient to the bottom of the bricks. So. Um, at this point, I uh, use that blur tool to kind of to blur it all together to make it look like it's seamless, um, which I thought was beautiful. And then I cleaned up the edges, and then I made a background layer of that solid gray I started with, which was a second layer behind it, just so um, the back of it was always that gray color. And then I drew some fake flames just to kind of... I'm going to draw flames later, possibly if I decide to, but I just really wanted to show you guys um, kind of my vision of where that would look. Since I know somebody's going to want it, I'm going to also insert a clip of me doing all that drawing in about 20-30 seconds just so you can see how it looks like really sped up. But other than that, thank you for watching. I included all the details of everything I did down or everything I used down below. Uh, and let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos.